Hey, pen people. I love the pen hobby, right? I mean, that's kind of why I have this channel. But there are some things I don't like about it as much. And one of those things is this constant nagging need I sometimes feel, and I think a lot of other people feel, to just keep buying stuff. And there's nothing wrong with trying a new pen or adding something nice to your collection, but sometimes I think it's easy to go a little overboard with it. So today, what I wanna share with you as we're kicking off the new year is 10 ways to enjoy your fountain pen hobby more without buying new stuff. You can buy new stuff if you want, but here are 10 additional ways to get more enjoyment out of your fountain pens. Number one, give your favorite pens a break. This sounds really counterintuitive maybe, but I've noticed that when I have a pen that, that I really love and it's constantly in my rotation, if I take it out of rotation for a week or two, put it in my pen case and do something else for a while, I have a lot of fun coming back to that favorite pen and it kind of renews the enjoyment for me all over again. Number two, Try a different pen and ink combination. So I know a lot of people like to get a specific color of pen and then find the ink that's like the perfect match for that pen color. That's fine. I don't do that. If you do, that's fine. But I think there's a lot of fun to be had trying different combinations than you've ever tried before. I've noticed that for me, I can take a pen that I'm very used to and an ink I'm very used to but if I haven't put those together yet, then it's like a whole new experience. And that's one thing I do love about this hobby is you can create a new experience with the stuff you already have. Trying a new pen ink combination, trying a new pen ink and paper combination, doing that has the potential to help you rediscover the things that you already have and enjoy and enjoy them in a different way. Number three, limit your currently inked. So you may have seen some pen YouTubers or some people on Instagram talk about this kind of idea, but I've seen a couple of YouTubers challenge themselves to only use one pen and one ink for a month or however long, or maybe it's two pens or whatever. I've seen different variations. I think Drew over at Goulet Pens has three pens at a time uh, rule. He can only have three pens inked and if he wants to ink up another one, he has to first clean one of the three and put it away. Am I good at keeping my currently inked down to a small number? Not always. <laughs> I probably have six to eight pens inked up right now. And if you enjoy having a lot of pens inked up at the same time, there's nothing wrong with that really, as long as you're not letting pens rot away with dried crusty ink in them somewhere. But I've noticed that limiting the pens that I have inked up, the pens that I'm using, it just helps me to get more enjoyment out of what I'm currently using instead of bouncing back and forth between all these different pens. If I have too many pens inked up, then it's like, I'll write a page with one and then be like, eh, I wanna try another one. I'll write another page with a different one. And I feel like I'm constantly dissatisfied with what I'm using. So I think limiting uh, the scope of your currently inked can be helpful there. Number four is to pick up a new hobby that is related to your fountain pens. So that could be writing poetry, writing short stories, drawing, whatever. I just got into book binding. It's amazing. I love it. And to make a nice little basic notebook, it's probably easier than you might think. I highly recommend looking into that. But uh, I, I remember seeing a video that Goulet Pens posted once about like, how to use your pens more. And I thought it was kind of goofy. It's like, if you're buying fountain pens, it's because you use fountain pens, right? Do you need, do you need help knowing how to use your pens? <laughs> Regardless, I think it's always a good idea to find another hobby that is complementary to your fountain pen hobby that can help you enjoy your fountain pens more. And I would love to know about your complementary hobbies. If there's something you do that you use your fountain pens for and you love it, you're having fun with it, Comment below, I would love to hear about it. Okay, number five is just to do some doodling. Just let go and have some fun. It doesn't have to be a whole new hobby. It doesn't have to be something that requires a lot of skill. You can just sit down and draw some shapes, draw some lines, uh, draw a little cartoon. It's a lot of fun. And that's actually one reason why I have gone toward using 
blank paper instead of ruled paper in my notebooks. And then I just kind of slip a little ruled guide behind the paper I'm writing on. It just makes it easier to draw and not be interrupted by all those lines. So that way I can have, you know, a poem over here and a little doodle over here or, or whatever. And it's, it's fun. I like that freedom. Before we move on to number six, if you're getting value out of this video or my channel in general, if you wouldn't mind just hitting the like button or subscribing, that's the best way you can support me in what I'm doing with my YouTube channel. Okay, number six, take your pens out of their natural environment. So if you typically write in your, at your desk at home or in your office at work or taking notes at school, that's great but try taking them somewhere else. Because I work from home as a freelance editor, I don't get out as much as I want to, but I do enjoy the outdoors, I enjoy hiking, and it can be a lot of fun to just get out, take a pen and a notebook with you, go out into nature, and enjoy a different kind of experience than you've had before. Give yourself a different backdrop um, than you're used to as you journal, or as you draw, or, or whatever it might be. And that can be a lot of fun. Okay, number seven. And this one kind of breaks with what I said a little bit about buying new stuff because number seven is to buy something else <laughs> that's not fountain pen related. I think it's important to keep your life and your hobbies and everything balanced and in perspective. I've noticed that with the money that I budget for fun, for spending, for whatever, it's very easy for me to go and, and want to buy a pen. It's a lot harder for me to want to go buy new clothes sometimes, even if my clothes are disintegrating. <laughs> like my only pair of jeans has a hole in the knee as of like a week ago. <laughs> so um, I need to do something about that, but it's just not as fun as pens, you know? But I feel like if you've got this really fun hobby that you're investing a lot in, but the rest of your life is kind of crumbling around you, it's gonna creep into your hobby and make it harder to enjoy. So I think just making sure that your budget is balanced, that you pay attention to your other needs, I think that can just kind of help take a load off, take some stress off, and help make sure that when you do buy something new for your fountain pens, or when you do spend time with your fountain pens, it's a little more relaxed, it's a little more enjoyable. Okay, number eight, and this is one of my favorites. I love this. It's to penable someone else. Hobbies are best when you share them with other people, when you have people to talk to, talk to about them, when you can, you know, nerd out together or whatever. And so a number of my friends, I've been able to pass the love of fountain pens along and it's been a lot of fun. I don't think you need to like be all pushy with people or whatever, but you know, just sharing, your pens on Facebook or whatever, that can get people interested, letting people know what you're up to, especially your creative friends, your writer friends, your artist friends. I feel like it's a pretty natural bug to catch when you're in the creative realm in some way. Okay, number nine, and this kind of goes along with having a related hobby, but it's a little different. And this, this is just to make something that is related to fountain pens. There are a lot of cool fountain pen accessories out there, but it can also be really cool to make your own. Sew your own pen sleeve, make a slip cover for your notebook, make your own pen rest. These are things that really are not that hard to do. It might take a little research, a little trial and error, but they're fun and you can save a little money. Instead of buying certain accessories, you might be able to make them. Yeah, they won't be like as luxurious maybe, but there's some pride that comes from just making your own things. Like this slip cover I made for this uh, Midori notebook. It works really well. I love it. I made it out of a cereal box and some worn out pajamas. <laughs> and it works really well. And I made a video about how to do this. If you want to check it out, I'll try to put a link up here if I don't forget. Okay, last but not least, number 10. My 10th tip is basically just to use your fountain pens as an excuse to unplug from technology. Fountain pens are amazing analog tools. The goofy thing about it though is that some of us, I think, take these tools and immediately want to go to Instagram and show them off, take all these pretty pictures of them, and it's fine to do that. But I think it's important to remember these are analog tools. These can be part of an analog lifestyle. And I think that one way to get more enjoyment out of your pens, and maybe just even to get more enjoyment out of life in general, is to unplug a little bit more, care a little bit less about getting that Instagram post up, and just reminding yourself why you got the pens in the first place. 
It wasn't to take pictures of them. It was probably to write or draw or create or plan or whatever. So whatever it is you enjoy doing with fountain pens, make sure that that stays the focus rather than creating digital content for uh, about your analog tools. I have to remind myself of that all the time as a YouTuber. And if I get around to it, I'm actually going to make a video about how I am becoming more analog in 2024. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. I hope to get that up soon. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> if you have any additional tips that you'd like to share about how you enjoy your fountain pens and how you've gotten more use and fun and pleasure out of them, let everybody know in the comments so we can all benefit from that. And I will talk to you later. Bye.